got the pleasure of having my partner here. I'm calling my partner. I don't care what he called me. I'm calling oh, yeah. my partner. I got oh. so much love for this dude. I'm talking about the one and only Cupid, ladies and gentlemen, is Man. in the building. I love this guy. Uh, when here. I walked away from radio for a little bit, we had a great conversation on the podcast mm -hmm. but now i'm back over here doing yeah, this right here man. you got a whole bunch of stuff that you're doing yep. life changes it's funny because he here on the monday like how do we need to go on and do this because the cake done came <laughs> off you know i'm not cupid now oh yeah I'm kids money. is out there like where's daddy money to win yeah uh -uh. It's, it's, it's 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 regular guy time <laughs> it's daddy time and i got to get back to it so with oh, that yeah. being said how how has the balance been going with family and I don't want to call it a resurrection of Cupid, but man, you kind of can. But you, it, yeah, you hot on these streets, son. Yeah. Like, like the song just came out last year, yeah. this, this month. Man, it's good, man. You know, uh, I think all of the things that I went through before, like as far as like shuffle and not balancing it, is mm. why my life like, was so crazy. So once I understood how to balance it. You know, take time out for them kids, take time out for the wife, take time out for my friends, take time out for the career. It all makes sense now. Mm. You know, um, fortunately, I got a good foundation, which is the Cupid Shuffle. And fortunately, I say the times times the Internet plus line dancing <laughs> is equal. Just like just this big old, like you say, resurrection. Like everybody wants to line dance. Everybody wants to dance. And all those songs that I put out all of those years have like resurfaced through TikTok and Instagram. Mm -hmm. And man, now it is crazy. It's crazy. You know what I love though? You embraced it. We had this conversation before too. Y'all yep. can go back and look at the, but I love the way you decided, you know what? If they said that I'm going to be the king of this line dance thing, mm -hmm. I'm going to embrace it and run with it. And it seems like to me, I could be wrong. After you said, I'm embracing it. The, and I actually, before we even started recording, the first 10 years of doing what you did, the last 10 years, you like, nah, since COVID, bro, it's been crazy. Yeah. So the, what was it that made you embrace and say, I'm okay with this now? What did you go through to get to that embracing point? Oh, it was a bunch of stuff, man. It was that time I was on The Voice, which was crazy, kind of like like just really trying to prove to people I can do Southern Soul or do R&B. And those were things that I did to get to me to the point of Cupid Shuffle. But once, like, you know, I had that conversation with my boy out in Dallas, man. We chopped it up. And then, you know, even like your podcast, because the podcast, your podcast really allowed me to air out a lot of stuff that I wanted to say. Mm -hmm. Like, I can say it to my homeboys, and we talk all the time about it. But to kind of like a person who don't know nothing about it, and to be able to, you ask me those questions and to air it out, really was like, I get, I had a chance to watch that again and again, to recap and look at it and be like, yeah, just stay in your lane. And then after COVID, man, once I dropped Flex, and I could see, mm -hmm. see it. Because Shuffle, we couldn't see it. It was like, woke up one morning, got a record deal. We in all these places. We don't know what's going on. We enjoying the whole situation, of right, course. Right. This 2007. Yeah. We on the road, you know, with <laughs> B2K. And we on the road with Chris Brown and stuff. It's crazy. <laughs> now, as adults, you get to see it. And then you get to see it monetarily as well because you can put it on all the independent DSPs and see the numbers exact. Mm. You see that? Plus, you can touch the people direct with social media, and you start to see how, like, and then, and you can allow yourself to create your own schedule. You know, you're not on a label schedule. You're not on a, you could like, okay, I'm, I'm not going out this weekend. I'm going to be to this basketball game. I'm going to catch y'all next weekend. And to be able to do that, man, it's the wildest thing, but it's the, one of the best things. And, I mean, you know, your, your podcast is definitely in the thank you list of me realizing that because that was a, we talked about everything. We and it got deep. And, that was when I could reflect back and be like, yeah, you know, I felt good being able to just put that out there. And now I'm living it. You know what I'm saying? So, that, that, you know, shout out to you and man, shout out to everybody. Shout out to you, man, because you know? that was a, a it was definitely a different time for me. Uh, I was still doing the podcast, but trying to figure out what I wanted to be when I when I grow up, because at that point I didn't really you know, you do this for so long, but you do it because that's what you learn to do. Yeah. And when I stepped away for a minute, I thought I thought that I didn't want to do it. No more. I'm like, this is that was it. I had yeah. a great run. It was, you know, I can't, there's nothing to do to cap that. Mm -hmm. But coming back is, oh, well, if you can help people, maybe that's the way to truly cap it. You know, not just helping yourself. Man, look, you so. gotta rely, you gotta understand. It was not even just the podcast, it was the 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 cover that you posted that really hit me the hardest. Hmm. It was like Cupid Shuffle is Cupid the is like the Cupid Shuffle, the king of Cu the king of Cupid Shuffle. 
the king basically saying like 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 when I looked at it, I was like, this is something. I even took the picture and reposted it. Oh yeah, I do remember that. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah and yeah. it was like this could be a thing. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, like you know, because the industry, like, all oh, think about it, man. All these award shows, everything that goes on all over, right? Yes, sir. They downplay the line dance stuff. They cut any line dance. Oh, it's the electric slide. <laughs> but when them deep, but when them crowds not jumping, and when y'all all in them little bougie little balls and galas y'all be at, and nobody they, moving, they, this what's the your go-to? Go-to? Yeah. <laughs> so you got to start looking at that and giving it's it. It's stupid. You, ah, yeah, so, yeah, so you yeah. got to start making that a thing and not just making it like, oh, it just you know what I'm saying. Right. And, and when you posted that up, I was I looked at it as like a marquee, like this could be something on. The Image Awards or the BET Awards, like mm. a tribute to this line dance thing, because it's mm. so important. So, again, bro, it was it was it was bigger than the interview. It was like the way it was put out, and it made me realize that this could really be something that could be, you know, it, you know, how sometimes like you build you build a mock up or something in order for you to actually like like create it later on. You yeah. kind of build like a, like a little model. Mm. That was the model, bro. And after that, I was like, man, look, line dance king. Well, I appreciate you. I think it's awesome to watch what you're going through all the time because it seems like every week now you hit them with another one. People will take your songs now and they make their own. Yeah. So you don't even really have to help them. <laughs> we were just talking when you came in here. You had to, back in the days, you had to show them the new one. Now, by the time you arrive, everybody doing it instead with you. You're like, oh, damn, we ain't going, we had to go through the teaching process. No, okay, that's what we doing. This is yeah, what we doing man. it. But you said you got some other stuff that you've been working on. I don't know if you're able to talk about some of those yeah, deals, but yeah. you got some stuff in the pipeline that's coming that we'll be seeing soon. I got some great stuff, man, bro. As a matter of fact, like, so me and my bro, Mr. Fat, man, we've been sitting down just putting our formula together because we really got a formula of how we do it. Um, Flex is doing well. Flex is a couple of million streams away from going gold Congrats. independently, which is a blessing, man. We got another record called The Cookout that um, uh, on the remix we have Mr. Fat and Level on the remix, which is it's, it's climbing up right through the pipeline of how we ran all the other ones. Um, I just did a little partnership situation where I got a country record coming out called The Down South Shuffle mm. uh, produced by Gold Grizzly. And um, that's coming out on the 27th of March. And then after that, we got about three or four more line dances popping up for <laughs> every different kind of situation you could think about, man. So, like, we not letting it die. Like, that was one of the, not to say letting it die, but one of the big things that I did not do with Atlantic, which I wasn't allowed to do, was I didn't have a second single. Because I wasn't allowed to be able to create the music that got me the deal. Mm. So, you know, it was Cupid Shuffle forever. Like, oh, man, one hit wonder guy. And that stuck with me like a long time. So I'm like, okay, one hit wonder, I got something for y'all. I'm going to put so many songs out. Mm. <laughs> it's going to be so, we just, we following up on the momentum of each one. From Flex to Cookout, Cookout to Down South Shuffle, Down South Shuffle to the rest of them. And we're going to just keep these people dancing as long as they want to dance. Uh, Cupid, is this, all this is on your own la- label? How, how are you situated doing Yeah, that? man. Well, um, so, me, so we have Genius Level Music and TOC Music Partnership. Gotcha. And uh, we just doing it independent. Together, yeah, we're doing it I together, it. man. Because you know, he he produced. Yeah, I, I know you don't want to, but just at least just come over here, show your face right quick, because yeah, you part man. you you part of the whole thing as well. And if you could, man, just if you don't mind me grabbing your mic real quick, just oh, yeah. saying a few oh, things, yeah. like because you've been a, a part of his team for such a long period of time, man. Just. Whatever you can add to the conversation, man, some enlightenment, um, maybe even telling these youngsters that's coming up, following behind, you know, what they need to be doing at this point. Man, the biggest lesson we learned through the whole journey is the consistency. Yes, sir. The consistency matters the most over opinions, over suggestions, (laughs) over professional opinions, because believe it or not, sometimes these industry folks get it wrong. Mm. You know, and that's and I'm not saying it in a negative way. No, I dig it. I yeah, dig it. But, but they it's don't just like it. to say sometimes they're so used to their business model and their projection on how hit records work. And like me and him talk about all the time, a lot of them operate from the top of the machine and we're down there on the concrete. Mm. So it's a different formula that we that we, you know, we not we, we're operating off of survival. They're operating off of. <laughs> <laughs> analytics and metrics. You see what I'm saying? Survival is showing right. up different place yeah, to be operating from, bro. Yes, you know, and, and considering where the industry is right now with a bunch of people coming back down to the concrete level, what you were saying earlier before the interview, it's going to get very interesting because mm-hmm. you got some people who just so used to operating on the computer and the, and the machine and then you got cats like us that's you really it out here the, in the yeah, streets you, with yeah, the people, amongst right. the you people. definitely seen it from the mud. And in the industry, you, you can tell the artist who's 
up upstairs, and you can tell the artist who's out there with the people. I like that. Like that. <laughs> I like if that. I How like have that. y'all been able to handle y'all relationship? A lot of times, relationships don't survive. You understand oh, what I'm man. saying? You know, oh, you did this, and you yeah. making that, and da 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 And You're I hate right. your guts now. You're right. We had a lot, I mean, a lot of adversity, bro, like, especially with Shuffle, because we didn't know. Like, I didn't know what a publishing was. I didn't know what did. a, oh, wow. an ASCAP or BMI. When I was doing Shuffle, I was just doing shows. He's been more, like, more educated with it, man. And so at the beginning, there was a lot we didn't know. But he loved music. I love music. We've been rocking since day one. So one of my personal goals was, like, I, if we get another one, like, Cupid Shuffle is a rap Because we, we learn so much. And, uh, you know, it's like Snoop and Dre, dog. It's kind of like... You know, I can I, I work with other producers. You know, there are a lot of talented producers I work with, but we got a formula and a chemistry that just mm. you know do it with your boots on. Yeah, you know, Cupid Shuffle, Flex. You know, that's all that, that is, it, we got a formula. And so um, now, this, like he was saying, like we coming from the mud and being like on the same you know like the same path and same wavelength. It ain't hard, man. You know, and I think that's what keep our blessings coming is because we we don't we don't operate. In a in a like a Judas kind of kind of vibe, mm. you know what I'm saying? Yes, sir. And, and and that's why, you know, I feel like the universe was like, here's another one. Y'all got this one now. So now we sitting back talking every day, like, man, you seen how many streams? Man, you see who called our phone today? Man, you see, you know, because we know now how to operate versus back then. You operate not to just, oh, I got a deal. <laughs> Yes, yes, and you don't know what's going on behind the scenes, bro. So not only are you mature, you're mature in this business of music as well. It's a cool space to be in, bro. Yes, sir. Oh yeah, I love everything about you, Mr. Cupid. Fat, it was definitely good to see you again, brother. Uh, but continued success. I know that's weird and funny to say, but Ooh, I really, man, really, really cool, mean it. Man, and it cool. seems like every time I see you, you got another one in the bag, and you keep receiving these bags, and that's exciting to see because. Cupid Shuffle is how many years now? Oh man, it's 2006 when that joint came out, man. So and look at this. I know, right, man? And 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 salute to you, man. Your platform, like I say, everything that you're doing. You were OG in the game. You was here. You know, I, I was telling you how I sang on that uh, on that DJ Screw record. <laughs> and I ain't had no name. I'm not even on listed on the <laughs> on the, on the things at all, dog. You know what I'm saying? But you was around, man. So you've seen it. You've seen every aspect of it, man. And it's just cool to be able to. I think it's just cool that at this stage of the game, we all still be able to talk about music. Still, mm, still love it. You know, still in it, man. Yeah. And um, so it, you know, anytime when you hit me up, I'm, I'm here, bro. And and uh, just keep doing what you're doing, man. And we are gonna keep doing what we doing, cause I mean, we some like. I got to get used to hitting the word OG. <laughs> you know? It used to bother me at first, but it's respect that comes you know, with it. You, you know, know, when they say it, they say it re respectfully. Yeah. That you've been through the trenches. You went through all this. You the OG. We, we the looking OGs, up to you. Man. So I'm, I'm embracing it now. It took a while, but I'm finally, when I, what up, OG? You look around like, oh, oh that's me now. Okay, okay. Let me put my OG badge on. It's all good, but hey, man. Yeah, man. OG, I love you, man. Man, love you too. Man. I appreciate you, brother. Keep doing what you do. Yes, doing. sir. Cupid in the building. Yeah.